15. Which sentence should follow sentence 3 to state the main claim of the passage? So sentence 3 was the end of that intro. And again, we kind of recognize in our reading, we'd probably want to follow that with something because it really didn't say or mention advantages of hobbies here, which is the main part of the entire passage. It lists advantage after advantage after advantage in all the body paragraphs. So let's see if some of the answers pull up that idea. Hobbies offer a variety of benefits. Yes, they do. And people should set aside time to pursue them. And it's advocating based on that main claim, those benefits. That looks pretty good. Let's check B, C, and D. People should select a hobby carefully before investing time and resources. It never says people should do it carefully. That's not quite right. That suggests people should be hesitant. And that's not at all the idea of the passage. Hobbies are a productive way to spend free time, so people should pursue them. Okay, so it is essentially saying also advocating people should pursue them at the end, but the first part, they're a productive way to spend time. That's true, but that's only one of the benefits or gains from a hobby. It's too narrow. It's not a good thesis claim. A is a better thesis claim because hobbies offer a variety of benefits. D, people should find hobbies that bring them pleasure and enjoyment. Huh, people should find, is this about pleasure and enjoyment? And that's what they should find hobbies to do? I don't really think that's the right thesis claim because that says nothing again about the various benefits of hobbies. So that kind of misses the main idea of the passage. I mean, it seems reasonable to me. Yeah, I would want a hobby that brings me some pleasure and enjoyment. I wouldn't want to do a hobby that I hate, right? But still, just because that's true in general doesn't make it true to the passage. It's not the idea in the passage. D is not going to be correct. The correct answer looks like it's going to be A.